a hundred years on and north to the city of Bruges to see the last great flowering of the art of the Middle Ages. The Flemish artists were rather different to the Italians. They saw the world differently. They were northerners, far more down-to-earth, far less idealistic. What they loved painting were the common or garden elements of their own households. You could say they invented the interior. They were helped in this rather more domestic approach to painting by the climate. They couldn't paint on damp walls, so they painted on wood. And wood was the perfect background for using oils. Oil is translucent. It catches the light. It could recreate all the gleaming detail of a wealthy home or a splendid church. And the first great master of oil painting was Jan van Eyck whose technique created a brilliant and lucid reality. This is one of those unforgettable paintings, Jan van Eyck's portrait of, and here I begin to falter, is it of the Arnolfini marriage, or of the Arnolfini betrothal, or just portrait of Giovanni Arnolfini and his wife, Giovanna? It's one of those paintings that looks so simple. But the more you look at it, the more you see how rich it is. And to me, rich is the operative word. These are two young Italians making it in wealthy Bruges. And they want to show that they're making it. Everything here is a status symbol. And we can so easily misread it. We look at that bed. And we say, ha ha, no, no, this isn't the bedroom. This is the reception room, because a bed like that was considered a wonderful piece of furniture, and you wanted to display it, not to use it. And Giovanna's dress, again, we think we know she's pregnant. Not at all. That's the very latest fashion, with the swelling stomach, a hideous fashion, but still the very latest cascading down to show how very rich she is. Is the little dog there as a symbol of marital fidelity? Or because it's the thing to have an expensive little pet dog of no functional value to the household? And the oranges, those costly fruit, everything here can be read many ways. There's that mirror. And you can see figures reflected in it, one of which must be the artist. And above it is written, Jan van Eyck was here. And I always think this is a, a witticism, because never was there a painting when it was not obvious that the painter was there. His eye has made the painting. What you're seeing is what that scalpel sharp eye of van Eyck saw. All Van Eyck's paintings are about looking, about reporting. Even when he paints the man who held the purse strings for one of the most powerful dynasties in Europe, Chancellor Roland, a man who could make or break any artist, Van Eyck is always detached. And for us looking on, this detachment may even have a touch of irony. <laughs> 